what I wanted to share with you is, first of all, what a lot of culinary students in the past have asked me, and that is, what is the difference between an herb and a spice? And it's a little bit blurry at times, but I wanted to just give you an example that I like to share with them when I have fennel around, and I actually had some in my refrigerator. So I wanted to share this with anyone else that might be a little bit curious on what is the difference because I know as an herbalist I always work with different leaves and roots and uh, seeds and stems and all sorts of things like in even bark but when it comes to cooking in the kitchen sometimes people aren't sure well is that a spice or is that a herb so I just want to clear up a few things but also I want you to know that this is not concrete. It's still a little blurry, and I'm going to give you a few um, examples. So this is fennel, and if you've ever had fennel, it's one of my favorite vegetables because I love that licorice anise uh, flavor. And so this white bulb, this would be considered the food, the vegetable. These fronds, if I was to use those in a salad or for garnish, would be considered the herb. And where they were cut off here, they actually um, flower and then they have seeds, and it's those seeds that we use a lot in spices and in herbalism. So we would have the spice, the herb, and the vegetable. Again, that said, it can be a little bit confusing sometimes because some people might use the spice, the seed, in herbal concoctions, but it's still called an herb. And sometimes we might use this in an infusion and we can also dry it and use it as a spice. So that's just what I wanted to share. Sometimes it feels a little bit confusing, but I thought this would be the best breakdown for you.